you can spend hours in front of your computer for the easiest tasks or complete them within minutes by using a couple of simple key combinations. The second option sounds way more tempting, right? So if you want to make your computer experience more effective, here are some new ways to use the most popular keys. Number 1. Letter Keys You can probably name a couple of shortcuts with letters off the top of your head right now, but there are way more of them than you think, so it's time to get to know the most fascinating ones better. Pressing E together with the Windows logo key opens up Explorer, so you can instantly find a file you need. If you want quick access to the download window in your browser, click Ctrl with J or Command and J for iMac. This shortcut will allow you to see all the files that are currently downloading. Your browser history can also be opened through a similar command, Ctrl H for Windows and Command Y for Mac OS. To select all items and text in the browser page or document you're working on, click Ctrl and A. If you want to remove or delete it, Ctrl D can be very useful. The Windows logo key and L combo locks your PC or allows you to switch users if you're not the only one who uses the computer. You can open the Ease of Access Center with a letter command by pressing the Windows logo key and U. Number 2. Escape We often use escape to close something, but did you know that this key can be used for numerous other purposes? If you want to upgrade your computer skills, here are just a couple of escape key combos you should remember. The first surprise is that you don't necessarily need to use the Windows logo key to open the Start menu. Escape with Control can do the same thing. Just try it. Windows Task Manager is essential for anyone who works on their computer. To have easier access to it, press Escape plus Control plus Shift and save your time. Whenever you have way too many programs open at once, use Escape and Alt to switch between them. It's way quicker than using a mouse, and it allows you to switch between programs in the same order they were opened. Mac users have their own useful Escape commands too. For instance, press Escape along with Option and Command can help you instantly choose an app to force quit. Finally, if you need to exit Magnifier, Escape plus the Windows logo key will do it for you. Number 3. Tab Most people rarely use the Tab key, but just like pretty much every key, it can come in handy when you need to save time and complete a task faster. Let's see. Have you ever had so many Google Chrome windows open that it was hard to cope? Yup, we've all been there. Thankfully, if you need to switch quickly between them, the Tab plus Control combo will certainly become your favorite. You can also go back to the previous tab by pressing Tab, Control, and Shift. Open apps and programs on your computer can also be controlled by using the Tab key. If you have Windows, press Tab, Control, and Alt, and use the arrow keys to switch between all your open programs. If you're a fan of Apple, Tab plus Command will allow you to do the same thing. You can browse through all your recently used apps by using Tab plus the Windows logo key command. Moreover, if you don't have a mouse and need to move around on the screen, press Tab with the up or down arrow. It's just as comfortable and quick as working with a touchpad. Number 4. Alt Using the Alt key on its own is rather useless, but combining it with other keys can help you deal with almost any situation you can imagine. Alt plus F opens file menu options for whatever program you're working in. Alt plus E takes you to edit options. If you want to see the properties of a certain file or folder without looking for it in the settings, select the file and press Alt and Enter to see all the information you need. If you're tired of high contrast, or on the contrary, want to turn it on, press Alt on the left side of your keyboard along with the left shift and print screen keys. There's a similar command for controlling the mouse keys as well, but here instead of print screen, you should press num lock. To close all Google Chrome windows completely at the end of your session, press Alt with F4 or Command plus Shift plus W if you're using iMac. By the way, you can also select the address bar in one click with the Alt plus D shortcut. Whenever you need to see the jump list for the program pinned to your taskbar, use Alt, the Windows logo key, and the number of its position in your taskbar. No mouse necessary. Number 5. Shift Most people use the Shift key purely to type a capital letter. However, it can control a bit more than that. Some keyboard settings can be turned on and off with Shift shortcuts. For example, holding right shift for about 8 seconds switches the filter keys function on and off, 
and pressing Shift five times controls sticky keys. If you scroll to the bottom of a browser page and need to move back up, press Shift and Spacebar to go back to the beginning. Plus, if you accidentally close a window, Shift plus Control plus T or Shift plus Command plus T for iMac will quickly bring it back. Number 6. Control Almost all shortcut combos have the control key as one of their components. And as you probably already know most of them, let's talk about some interesting control options you may have missed. If you're working in Microsoft Word, you probably use bold, italic, and underlined text options a lot. Instead of doing this all by mouse, you can select the text and press Control plus B, I or U for bold, italics, and underlined text respectively. You can also move the cursor forward or back one word as well as forward and back one paragraph by pressing Control plus the arrow keys. If you often zoom in and out of a page while working in a browser, try to press Control and the plus or minus keys next time, as opposed to using your mouse. Instead of typing the whole name of the site in your browser's address bar, type only its name, for instance, Facebook, and press Control and Enter. The command will add www and .com and send you to this address all by itself. You can add the site to your favorites later by using the Ctrl plus D shortcut, and you can view all your favorite sites by pressing Ctrl plus I. If you're on a network and need to find PCs, press Ctrl, the Windows logo key, and F to complete the task right away. Number 7. Windows Logo Key Everybody knows that the Windows logo key quickly opens the Start menu, or the previous window if you prefer Windows 8 but there are actually many more useful combos with it that can make your life way easier. The Windows logo key plus A opens the action center for any device with Windows 10. Pressing the Windows logo key with B can help you select the first icon of the notification area. If you need any other icon, you can choose it using the arrow keys. The Windows logo key, Control and B can instantly switch your computer to the program indicating a new message in your notification area. And if you have way too many windows open at once, press the Windows logo key with M to minimize them. Don't worry, if you need to maximize them back, the Windows logo key plus the up arrow will do the job. When it comes to an active window, the Windows logo key can also stretch it to the top and bottom of your screen if you press it with Shift and the up arrow. Way better than dragging your mouse cursor all over the screen. What shortcut key combinations do you use the most? Let us know in the comments section below. While you're at it, don't forget to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe. Stay on the bright side.